the secret to great, great black and white pictures. We say any camera, I want to show you my tips and tricks and a secret software that I use and I'm able to get with any camera. Great, amazing, jaw-dropping black and white pictures. So let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel, Tudor Matescu here. In this video, I want to share with you my secret software that I use to get amazing film-like pictures with amazing grain, amazing details and amazing sharpness and also amazing tonalities. A software that for what it's offering has a bargain price, a bargain price and a software dedicated to photographers. This software is based on Ansel Adams zone system. So it's a very, very smart software and I will show you immediately how I'm editing it. But before I want to show you some pictures that I've made with this program. So all the pictures, the printed pictures that you are able to see now are made with this software. Also, lots of my pictures and when I'm serious about the keeper one, I'm using this software. So if I want the best black and white that it's out there, I'm not using JPEG simulations and I'm not using Adobe Lightroom. Of course, I can get away fast with Adobe Lightroom for pictures that are so and so. But if I want the best quality, the best, the best, I'm using this software for editing my black and white pictures. I've also made an entire book with this software by editing the X100V files and it's called the winter book. You can buy this printed winter book from the Amazon. I will link it in the description and in the comments, but also you can buy the ebook if you want to check the pictures. But this is my go-to software and I'm using it for many, many years and now it's at the next level because the Excel Labs it's helping develop this software and make it even better, faster and compatible with Adobe Lightroom, with Photoshop and with other editing programs. So it's a standalone but also a plugin. So anyway, I will just concentrate on this software that it's the Nick Silver software by DxO. And I'll show you how I am editing files with this software and I will tell you why I like it so much. But I think if you will follow my channel and if you look at my photography, you must know that one of my best photographies are always edited in this software. There is no question about it. And also the pictures behind me are also edited with this software. So I am editing the raw file and then I am printing the raw file on a quality premium paper if I have time to do so. But when you print the raw file, the TIFF file from the Nick Silver on a quality museum grey paper, show dropping image quality with any camera, with Fujifilm cameras, with Micro Four Thirds cameras, and even with a JPEG from a mobile phone. This software is amazing good. So let's look how I'm getting my edits in Nick Silver by DxO. So for this, I've decided to pick some pictures and to show you how I am editing them and what is the potentials of these pictures. So this is a RAW file, a Fujifilm RAW file. And to edit it in um, Nick Silver, I first prepare the RAW file. Let's reset the RAW file. So this is how it's looking. And now let's prepare the RAW file. It's very important to prepare the RAW file because you will help DxO get the most out of your file. So I have here some uh, settings, highlights minus 90, shadows plus 43, whites plus 24 because I like contrasty images, blacks minus 16, vibrance, I want color in my base image when I'm editing it. Now if I'm ready, I will go into the Nick Silver. And now we are in Nick 7 Silver FX. So this is the best program out there. Here in the left, you have presets that you can make or you have by default made by DxO Nick Silver. You can start from landscape and this contrasty look, it's working very well with this picture. So already this is looking very, very well. I also have my settings, but uh, of course I want to show you some of the presets. So you can go with this, look here, boom, 
What do I need to do more? Of course, I need to do more if I know Ansel Adams zone system and if I want more contrast. Intense contrast, boom. <laughs> so just a preset. Very, very easy. So you can start from all kinds of uh, settings like this to get the image where you want. And let's go now on the left. So this is where the magic happens. You have here the Ansel Adams zone system that uh, it's very, very important. So if I will click here the white square, you will be able to see where this is clipping. But also if I will hit the nine square zone, you will be able to see this gray. You have here the middle gray, the five. And you are able to see middle gray, it's here. And at the second zone, we have here the second zone. If I want to have this picture darker, I can make different adjustments, but uh, let's make it easy. Let's make it easy and let's go to a magic button that is called soft contrast. So let's go with soft contrast. Let's um, disable the Ansel Adams zones and look what is happening when I'm changing the soft contrast. So this it's an amazing slider that depending on your light will do miracles. Field types are here and this also are changing the curve controls. So let's go with Kodak Tri-X or T-Max to strong Tri-X. Boom. So we have this look a little too strong. For this uh, to work I want a softer look. This is what I'm liking. But Let's move on. I will show you my final edit. Also, you have here control over the luminance of the colored channel. So you can influence this why I've told you that you want color in your photography. You can influence the luminosity by using this slider. So the control of this software, it is tap, tap, notch control. But in this picture, we have a problem. The sky, it is too light and I don't have enough blue to make it darker. So what is the trick? We must burn the edges. Let's go just with the top edge, strength, size and transition. I will make it like this size. I will go as much as I can. Let's see where it stops. I've made the sky a little darker, but this isn't sufficient for me. So I will use, and this is one of the great features of this program, a control point. And also you have other controls, control line, control polygon, and luminosity mask. But I am using just this point that is doing miracles. If I will press control, we are able to see the selection mask of this point. Let's make the point a little bigger to see the selection. What are the zones that are influenced by this point? So let's go here first and let's take the brightness down of the sky. You are able to see how beautiful this point is acting. I will not do again my initial editing. This is just to show you how the program is looking and how you must sync in black and white editing. It's very important to sync in Ansel Adams zone system. Well, the next image I've decided to be a nighttime image because I have some fine art and nice night photography. And I want to show you this. This image, it is shot with a lens that it's not resolving the 40 megapixel of uh, X-T5. The 35 meters f1.4, at f1.4 ISO 4000. It's a clean file because I've used the Adobe Lightroom denoise. So it's a nice clean file. I have a little noise, but I want a little noise. So it is very, very sufficient. I have good details for making some art. I hope so. I didn't edit it before. So I'll be more serious in editing this file. So let's see what I will get with Nick Silver effects. So now I am in Nick Silver effects 7 and uh, I've chose the contrasty look, but let's go with my presets. So I have an Ansel Adams preset, boom. So very easy, easy peasy if you have the right presets. And uh, what is more important compared to Adobe Lightroom editing is that these presets are really working. You really don't need to make all kinds of adjustments because they are really good, because the software is good. But let's look at other preset. This is a more low contrast presets and I've made some pictures with this preset that are looking like film. There is another discussion here. Maybe I will do a workshop. Tell me if you are interested in this. So let's go to this. This is a portrait style. I will show you also a portrait editing. 
This is a general street style. Look how good it's looking. And uh, let's move on. Tri-X, more contrasty. Boom. But it's a more documentary look, not a, an artistic look. Different variation. And this is Urban Sun. Boom. So I have the sky darken. Also, this uh, preset is working great in sunny street photography. And uh, with the previous one, this was a very, very good choice. Copper toned. Boom. Look how it's looking. Amazing. Amazing. Pure art. Because again, it's not that I know what I do. I do know what I do, but also the software is very good. The algorithm of this Nick Silver FX, it's the best in the world. The best. For this picture, I will go even with the Ansel Adams. Here are the lights. I like that we are losing some details. It's telling a nice story. One thing I would like to correct about this, I don't like the light here in the left corner and probably I would love to make the lamp a little brighter. So I will choose again a point. I do love very much the points. Click here and now let's take the brightness down. Boom. The selection on this software regarding luminosity mask, it's out of this world. Also, if I don't want artifacts because it's possible to get some artifacts, I am taking the contrast down from this point. Boom. Look how nice it's looking. I can zoom in a little, 100%, and let's look here. Nice and clean, no artifacts. I can take another point, and I will put it right here in the lamp. Let me make it smaller. Again, you are able to see that we have a big file, a 40 megapixel file that is looking great with the 35 letters f1.4. And look what details I have in low light at f1.4 with this software. So let's make it a little brighter. Let's zoom out and boom, we have brightened this area. If I want to have more impact and I will be attentive to details, I will take also this point, put it here, and I've made this zone again darker. And probably I will take this a little notch to have more contrast. You obtain the contrast by different values of luminosity. This is the idea. So let's look at the values of this uh, luminosity that we have in this zone. Let's see what zone is here. It's zone 5 and 4. Zone 5 and 4. And this is zone 8. So zone 5 and 4 and zone 8. If I want to get more contrast, and this is the idea, I must take this to zone 9. And I can take zone 4 and 5 down a little more to zone 2 plus 3 if it's making any sense. But in this case, I don't feel it's needed because look how nice it's blending in. So overall, it's fine. And I've also choose this picture for one important, very important reason. The man here had the head over the building. So I knew in post-processing that I will be able to make it distinct because I have this head, this hair that is black on this light wall where I have yellow light. And if I go to the yellow light, I can make it even brighter. So let's go to the yellows. Let's see what is happening. Yes, you are able to see this. Now we have here a clean file, but if I want more grain for an artistic look, we can go to this slider, original grain, and get the slider down and make some adjustments. You can see visible grain when you are at 70 or even lower. So look here how grainy it is and also it's looking nice. Now let's look at the grain a little. Let's look to at this beautiful grain. It's looking like film and you have all kinds of options to take this grain wherever you want, wherever you want. But in my case, in this Ansel Adams edit, I do feel that a cleaner file by night is looking nice. So let's apply the settings and let's get to the next edit, the portraiture edit. So I've chosen this portrait. Let's prepare again the file. I want a face that it's more bright here. So I'll take the shadows up and I will make the file a little warmer. Let's start with the neutral. So in the case of portrait, you do not want lots of structure. So you must take the structure slider down. So let's take the st structure slider down to make it soft. Also into the midtones, boom, into the shadows, boom, into the highlights, boom. Look how 
is looking now, the bokeh, everything. Look how it's blending just with these sliders. I would also add a vignette. So now let's add the yellow filter. So look here how the picture is looking. Much, much better. Yellow filter it is for me. Let's add some grain. Nice. I would like to pop a little more. Something like this. So this is it. This is it. I like this edit in the end for the portrait. And again, I didn't enter into much details and into much editing. So in conclusion, I'm using DxO, Nick Silver and all the plugins for many, many years. And it is the only program that helped me get consistent results, very fast, very easy. If you are serious about your photography and if you want to take your pictures at the next level, I really do recommend get DxO. You can download it for uh, 30 days. It's a free trial and try it for yourself and see with your eyes what it's able to do this software. Also, this software is working really, really great with micro four search files, but also with one inch sensor files because the detail extractor, the structure effects and all what I've showed you are so powerful that they are able to bring lots of nice details, sharpness or uh, nice fall-offs or all kinds of effects from any file almost. So very, very important. Again, I've edited JPEG, mobile JPEG files with Nick Silver and my results are very, very good. So it's a very, very good program that I really do recommend if you want to take your black and white edit to the next level or if you want to take your color photography edit to the next level because also you have analog effects and color effects. I didn't enter into the color effects because this video is about black and white, but I just wanted to show you that you have amazing controls there that uh, will help you get your photography to the next level. And what is more important, don't confuse the XO Nick collection with a set of presets. There aren't preset, there is an algorithm and tools that are 10x time better at least than what it's in Adobe Lightroom or any other editing software out there. And especially for black and white, but also for color. You have there some film stocks and some color effects and you can make your own film stock. It's crazy, it's crazy. So the program is very good and I really do recommend it. So check the links in the comments and description and uh, get a free trial and try it for yourself. So if you are in content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel. Check my next videos for more content about photography tips, tricks, and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.